This is code.org. Let's see what we have here. The local pet adoption center, oh, wants to create a list of dog breeds that are currently available for adoption. I want all of them now. All of them. All of them. Dogs are the best. I love dogs so much. If you have a cat, that's not a dog. Not great. All right. In pets.java, check. Right? The create pet breeds. Let's see if it's already here. Oh, yeah. We got create pet breeds method to declare, initialize, and return a string array. Erg. So a string array. Let's keep in mind what a string is first. A string is any word. And in computer science, in programming languages, we would show that in quotes. It could also be a sentence. So just an example, hello is a string, but also so is this, hello world. Um, and for that matter, also if I put in quotes 55, that's technically a string. If I do this, whatever that is, that's a string. So we're looking at quotes or 10 spaces in quotes. Okay, that being said, so we need a string array. So first, I need to declare, write the data type, which is string. An array I denote by square brackets. Notice it's identical to this because this lets the computer know, hey, this function is going to provide a result that is a string. This is where I'm letting the computer know, hey, I'm making a variable that's a string. It's going to be the one we provide. Array. So, all right. Now what do I need? Initialize containing all the values. So I'll just stick with my term values here because they didn't really give us a name. Now we could do new and then write the size of this, but we don't need to. We already have all the data here. So I'm going to do curly brackets and a semicolon, and I'm just going to be lazy. It's all right here. I'm going to right click, copy, click over here and paste. Quapow. Now I have a big array of values. Now I don't want to return nothing. I want to turn whatever is within values. Cool. All right. Step two, write the get num breeds method to return the length of the pet breeds array. Get num breeds. Okay. And we have a pet breeds array. Obviously this is called values. So that's not it. The way they're spelling this with camel case, let's go up here. Quapow. All right. So they already created this for our step at the top. We just need to return the length of it. So that's doable. I'm going to go ahead and say int because when we get the length of an array, it is going to be an integer. Int, I'll call this len equals pet breeds dot length. Now, if this was a string, we would put this behind it. However, pet breeds is an array. They don't want the length of a string. And for a string in Java, you don't put parentheses. You just do length. And then I need to return len. Right? You could also return this directly. I'm not sure right uh, method to return the length. Yeah, so you would technically be able to fulfill their requirements just by doing this if you were feeling fancy. But we're going to go this way. It's good to be aware of return of variable types. And this makes it a little more clear. Int, right, is getting returned. Int is the type of data we're using, data type. All right, call. Yep, we can do that num get num breeds so right here i'm gonna go ahead and they already instantiated our class right so it says hey use we're gonna create a new this is the data type pets instantiation we are name it dog breeds and it's going to be equal to the new pets this tells it hey we're using this stuff now down here i'm just going to say oop, nope they named this dog breeds dot and now i need to do get Bam, bam, bam. And this will ask the computer, hey, go over here, find get num breeds, and whatever the length is, give me that back. Ready? Quip out. Oh, I didn't print it, so now we have to print it. Oh, I'll set this as integer. I'll just call it uh, count. We can call it whatever we want. Bam. Bam. And you might think, wait a minute, how is it eight? Because if I do dog breeds, get num breeds, what's it going to do? Schmack. Here we are. Get num breeds, get num breeds. What does that do? That returns pet breeds, right? And what does pet breeds contain? Well, when we instantiate the class, the reason this makes sense and is confusing and I should walk through this. 
is when we instantiate this class dog breeds, right? We say new pets. Now we have to run the constructor. So we head on over to here and it knows I'm going to create a new class, a new instantiation of pets, pets. And I have to run, this is the constructor, right? It doesn't have a accessor. It has an accessor. It doesn't have a data type in front of it. This is the constructor. And all we have to do in order to create or an instantiate an instance of our class here, create an instance of our class, is run this constructor. What does the constructor do? It says this dot pet breeds. What does that mean? The computer says, what the heck is pet breeds? Schmack. It's this thing. So it then says, okay, what is this? Well, it's going to be able to create pet breeds. The computer says, what is create pet breeds? So we go, schmack. And now it has to run this. What does this do? This creates a sh an array. The array contains all of the dogs and it returns it right here. So the values now contains all of that. And where does it return to? So where does values, which is this, go back to return pet breeds. Well, where was this called? Way up here, Quipac. So now all of these values are in pet breeds. So then when we say, all right, pet breeds, get number of breeds. Well, now all of those values are in pet breeds. This will run. It says pet breeds dot length and returns the length, which is eight. Pretty cool. Tricky, tricky. Uh, oh. Onward.